Hello everyone. Thank you for joining the Save Your Skin Foundation today for another one of our informative videos. Today we are going to be talking about a rare form of skin cancer called Merkel cell carcinoma, also referred to as MCC. The first question I would like to address is what is a Merkel cell? I won't go into detail about the skin and its unique layers, so if you are having a hard time following along, please go watch one of our earlier videos. Merkel cells are found within the top layer of the skin. These cells are very unique as they are highly associated with nerve endings and act as touch receptors. These cells are located within the epidermis, near nerve endings, and will respond to light touch on the surface of the skin, as well as the distinction of shapes and different textures. Merkel cell carcinoma, also called neuroendocrine carcinoma, is a very rare type of skin cancer that forms when Merkel cells grow out of control. It is believed that ultraviolet radiation from the sun plays a significant role in the development of MCC and most often develops in areas of the skin exposed to the sun, especially the head and the neck, as well as the arms, legs, and trunk. A small portion of MCC can develop in other body regions, such as inside the inside of the nose. Unlike other types of skin cancer, MCC does not have a distinctive appearance. It usually develops on sun-exposed skin as a painless, firm, flesh-colored to red or blue bump. Frequently, patients seek advice from their doctor because the bump is growing rapidly or the overlying skin is breaking down. Merkel cell carcinoma tends to grow quickly and to metastasize at an early stage. It usually spreads first to nearby lymph nodes and then may spread to distinct parts of the skin, as well as the body, such as the lungs, bone, and other lymph nodes. Now let's look at some factors, some risk factors strongly associated with the development of MCC. Frequent exposure to natural light, as well as exposure to artificial light, such as uh, from tanning beds or ultraviolet therapy for psoriasis is a risk factor for developing MCC having an immune system weakened by disease, such as chronic lymphocytic leukemia or HIV infection, taking drugs that make the immune system less active, such as after organ transplant, having a history of other types of cancers, and being older than 50 years of age is also a risk factor for developing MCC. So how can you protect yourself? Stay out of the sun, especially during peak hours, between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you do go out in the sun, stay in a shaded area and remember to protect yourself with broad spectrum SPF sunscreen and to reapply frequently or after swimming or sweating. Cover up when exposed to the sun by wearing a hat, sunglasses, long sleeve shirts, UV protective clothing, and use an umbrella. Another important thing to do is to check your skin monthly. Pass these sun safety tips to others to help reduce everyone's chance of developing skin cancer. If you have any questions or want to see more videos like this one, please visit our social media pages and our website. Thanks for tuning in.